Hello, everybody. This is uh, Chaplain Bob Walker. Listen, um, the uh, somebody sent me something. I had heard about it, but uh, some of the specifics of what I was sent, I was uh, unaware of, but mm, I usually keep on top of things news-wise. I like to know what's going on, what the uh, evil, wicked ones are doing. And I'm not talking about any particular group when I say this. But there is a Florida House bill called number is 741. And it was passed to crack down on anti-Semitism. And the intent of the bill, at least publicly, is to cut down on anti-Semitism, make, making a hate crime statute, and includes such acts as, one, calling for aiding or justifying violence against Jews. Next, alleging myths about a world Jewish conspiracy or that Jews control the media, economy, government, or other institutions. Hmm. Joel Stein, a, uh, well, take a guess, he wrote an article for the LA Times where he said uh, he bragged about the accomplishment of Jews him being one, about how they totally control Hollywood. I wonder if he's going to be charged with anti-Semitism. Then the Times of Israel uh, had an article where they claim that Jews totally control Hollywood and the media. I wonder if I quote either one of those sources and agree with them, that I wonder if I'd be charged with anti-Semitism. Hmm. I don't know. Next, accusing Jewish people as a whole of being responsible for real or imaginary wrongdoing by a single Jewish person, group, or the state of Israel, or for the acts of non-Jews. Hmm. Accusing, next, accusing the Jewish people of it inventing or exaggerating the Holocaust. Next, accusing Jewish citizens of countries other than Israel or being more loyal to Israel than their own nations. Next, demonizing, applying a double standard to or delegitimizing the Israeli state. Now, the three uh, states with the largest Jewish populations in the United States is New York, California, and third is Florida, of which I live in South Florida. So I guess you, some would say, some would say uh, that I become, uh, I live in the belly of the beast, so to speak. So I wonder how many of my videos are going to be in violation of this law. From what I understand, the House passed it, uh, the Senate passed it, and I guess it's sitting on the governor's desk waiting to be signed. I'm sure he'll be standing around with a bunch of rabbis um, eagerly awaiting signing this. Don't know if they're going to do it publicly or if they're going to do it quietly. Now, a lot of people don't know it, but the uh, if you want to read a really, really interesting book, you could get the book Behind Communism by Frank Britton, B-R-I-T-T-O-N, and then look up all the names in a Jewish encyclopedia. Very interesting. I wonder if the Jewish encyclopedia is going to be charged with anti-Semitism for um, listing all the people who claimed to be of Jewish extraction who were involved in the communist revolution in Russia. 
And of course, millions of Christians were killed by the communist government. Do you know the first law passed by the communist government was anti-Semitism laws? Matter of fact, if you were caught with a copy of the Protocols of Zion, uh, some say that they were executed on the spot. No trial, just executed. Now, I don't know if that's true. I wasn't alive in 1920s, but, you know, that's what some people say. So, now, what's up with giving, uh, they just recently gave $38 billion to the Israeli state in a foreign aid package. Whatever happened to America first? I, you know, I don't know. Just a question. And whatever, um, whatever happened to violation of church and state, separation of church and state? Um, why aren't we giving, why don't we have a, a Christian state uh, nation? And why aren't we giving foreign aid to them? I mean, does violate uh, separation of church and state only apply to Christians? You know, just throwing out some questions there. And uh, when you look at who's trying, what, what people in Congress are trying to, you know, pass all these uh, gun laws, well, they seem to belong to a certain group which will, you know, remain nameless. And uh, in um, 1999, the Supreme Court agreed to consider an amicus brief based wholly on Talmudic law. Now, the Talmud is the commentary on the Bible by Jewish rabbis. Jesus called it the tradition of the elders. And he didn't speak very highly of the tradition of the elders. So, um, they were referring to the U.S. as a Judea-Christian nation, but they dropped the Christian. Now they're saying it's a Judea nation founded on Judea values. Hmm. So, just remember, the first law that communist Russia passed was an anti-Semitism law. So, interesting. So, I'm wondering if uh, my videos, many of which that pertain to this subject, YouTube have already deleted, so eh, I don't know. I wonder if I'm going to be, well, I don't know. I wonder if I'm going to have any problems. Maybe it'd be a good time to leave Florida. I don't know. But you know what? A lot of other states have passed these laws, too. Matter of fact, Texas. To be a teacher in Texas, you have to uh, agree to many of these points that are in this anti-Semitism law. And uh, you can't be part of the boycott of the Israeli state. Matter of fact, when they had that hurricane in Texas a couple years ago, you had to agree to not be part of the boycott of the Israeli state if you wanted uh, money from the state for hurricane aid. Now, what has that got to do? You know, a boycott of a a foreign nation. What has that got to do with, well, if you want money from us, you got to agree not to boycott the Israeli state. Hmm. Wasn't it Voltaire that said, uh, if you want to know who rules over you, find out who you're not allowed to criticize? Um, does that apply in this case? I, you know, I, I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud, asking some questions. Um, uh, you know, so, uh, I hope some of you, uh, if I do end up going to jail, prison, whatever, that uh, you uh, help me out a little bit. I might need it one day. So, all right. Well, uh, you know, and the thing is, there's already Jewish groups calling. Well, I shouldn't say that. They're not Jewish groups. The Anti-Defamation League of the B'nai B'rith, which is the... Um, a lot of Jewish people involved, um, they call themselves the sons of Jacob Israel. 
And, um, you know, I can't call it a Jewish group. It just happens to have a lot of uh, members who just happen to be Jewish, you know. But there's a lot of these groups uh, that claim that the New Testament, specifically Jesus, is uh, anti-Semitism and the New Testament should be banned. I'm sure that's, um, you know, probably in the works somewhere down the line. Um, read Matthew 24 sometime. So, yeah, you might learn something. And I'm just uh, curious how many churches, so-called, are um, going to probably go along with this. After all, got to keep that uh, those shekels coming, I mean, uh, dollars coming in for the tithes. Oh, slip of the tongue there. All right, well, um, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to Jesus, who uh, many people of the Jewish faith claim that Jesus was the most evil, vile anti-Semite that ever lived. So, but, you know, hey, whatever happened to the First Amendment to the Constitution, freedom of speech, right? I guess they're entitled to their opinion. And uh, personally, I think Jesus was entitled to his opinion. So, you know, that's, what can I tell you? All right. All oh, blessings, praise, glory, and honor to Jesus, the Lamb of God, slain before the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, amen.